Hi everyone, James Bansel here bringing you yet another video. Now, in this video, I am very, very excited because you guys, I got PR! Yes, I have PR for you folks from Sugar Pill Cosmetics. Now, they just launched their summer collection and they sent me this gigantic PR package. I love getting PR. You hear that, brands? I love PR and I love making PR videos. So, if you want me to promote your brand, Send me stuff. Now let's open this guy up and see what is inside. I'm not gonna show my shipping label because that's none of your guys' business. Ooh, bubble wrap. Here, Puff, enjoy that. A little love letter from Sugar Pill. Hi, James. Hope you love our endless summer collection as much as we love you. Heart, Sugar Pill. Look at that I Know What You Did Last Summer handwriting that they have. I bet Autumn wrote this. She writes like a serial killer. Love you, Autumn. Let us. Dig right in. Got the little sticker. Pink with turquoise. My favorite color combination. All right, we have a little package here. This is probably all gonna fall apart in my hands because it's just the kind of person I am. Rip it open. Oh, yeah, there's a lot in here, holy crap. Okay, well, that all just fell back into the box, so I'll just show you guys what I all got. I have two glosses here. This one is called Bloom and Flicker. Let's see what they look like. I'm not gonna unbox everything, just like little things you can't see from inside the packaging. Okay. Ooh, look at this one. That one is Bloom. It's like an iridescent purple. That's lovely. And this one is an iridescent gold called Flicker. I have eyeshadows. What have we got here, eyeshadows? I love eyeshadows. I've been needing new ones because the last PR video I did for Sugar Pill was at their website. And that was one of the main reasons I wanted to go there is because I could go there and, you know, steal a bunch of makeup. I mean, get a bunch of makeup. That's what I mean, get a bunch of makeup. Okay, we have Wink. Oh, they gave me more taco. Very, very sought after color here, taco. All right, and we have Arsenic, color I don't have. And we have Hypnotic and Tokyo. Pink! And this eyeshadow is Valoria. Okay, I have a little mini pro pal. This is great because I love the big one but sometimes it's really big and it's hard to travel with, so this one will really come in handy. We have eyelashes. They have names. What are they called? This one is called Halo, Rapture, and Dazed. Okay, and loose eyeshadows. I'll take those out right away. All right, I have loose pigments. This one is silver, and it's called Silver Lake. We have a burnt gold color called Brick Toast. We have Memento, and we have Polar, or Polar. Yeah, it's Polar. That is the palette all put together. Ooh. All right, I want to do like a 60s look, kind of like the look I did on my Once Upon a Time in Hollywood review. Something with a nice floating crease. Very, very, you know, 1967. All right, I'm going to put down some taco as sort of a blank canvas first. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. Now, looking at this color selection, it kind of reminds me a lot of like the mid 70s. Like you ever like saw like I Love the 70s from VH1, it was very much that color palette of like greens and pinks and blues. Very like, you know, Partridge Family, variety show kind of, you know, flavors. Like these are all made up of like the colors of a caftan Miss Roper would have worn on Three's Company. <laughs> all right, our canvas is gessoed. Let's go through and create our floating crease. Take a little point brush like that. I'm gonna go through the darkest color I have, which is this violet one. I'm gonna map out where my crease is gonna go. And with this, don't worry too much about it being too neat because I'm gonna go through with a white cream and clean it up later. And if you're getting up there in the years like I am, you're a little bit older, you can just pull your skin back and that'll help too. <laughs> All right, I had to grab my other sugar pill palettes and my palette is so dirty. This is what a working queen's palette looks like. I'm almost embarrassed to show it, except I'm not. <laughs> That's hard work right there. So I'm gonna use a brown color to transition here to give it more of like, what's that word, dimension? Grab my ColourPop cream and we're gonna go through and clean up our crease and along the top of the brow too. And we're going with more color. Like I said, it's gonna look a little sloppy when you first do it because it doesn't really matter if it's not perfect. All right, now I got inspired to do this makeup because of course I saw that Quentin Tarantino movie that was taking place in 1969. So it gave me an excuse to do 60s makeup, which is one of my favorite makeup eras, especially the late 60s when makeup just started getting really experimental and cuckoo. Like they were just, you know, doing whatever they wanted with their makeup to like stand out and be bold and 
all sorts of like crazy creases and colors, putting flowers on the skin, all sorts of fun stuff. And this is kind of inspired by something I saw Twiggy do with her makeup. A combination of Twiggy and Elizabeth Taylor and Cleopatra. Yeah, I got especially handy. I got especially heavy handed right here in the corner. Oh my goodness. All right, so let's start there. Let's go in with colors again. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with some blue here on the eye here. I'm just gonna fill all that in. It's a bit lighter than the kimchi color, which I actually like, so it actually pairs with my skin very, very well. I love the statement of just a blue eyeshadow that just straight up says like, I don't give a f <laughs> Like, yeah, I'm wearing makeup, what about it? Okay, so I am going to go over this with a eyeliner. So we're gonna do that right now. We'll see how this goes. Oh, I did it. All right, yes. That's graphic as hell. Now this is almost like Divine makeup in the 80s too. Cause Divine loved Elizabeth Taylor. So like they incorporated a lot of that into her look. I'm sure she saw Cleopatra with her and Burton hundreds of times when it was in the theaters. Although if you ever saw that movie, that is a hard one to get through. It's like four hours long. And it's real bad. Like the makeup and the costume is literally the only thing that keeps you there. All right, and we're gonna go in with some blue and be a little more precise up here now. I'm gonna take a little bit of taco and go in in the corner here. And I kind of want to use these other colors too, but I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna incorporate those in. I think I'm gonna use the violet and the pink. I may like, you know, not use the green this time around. Let's go under there like that. Why not? All right, and with another brush. I'm going to take some of the purple. Take a little more purple. Add a little bit here for some depth. All right, I'm gonna take some eyeliner and I'm gonna put a nice bold wing here. All right, what we're not gonna do, we're not gonna connect these two together. I want it to stay floating somewhat. All right, taking a little bit more milk. I'm gonna Go upward along the line of the eyeliner. Oh my God, this is so drag right now. <laughs> Very 80s drag, love it. Eyeliner again, go into our under eyeliner. Now by doing that, I completely covered up all of like my pink and purple under here. So we're gonna go in with those colors again and touch it up. Add that violet in again. We can go a little bit underneath here too. And with a little black from our sugar pill, my actual palette, I'm gonna go on my eyeliner part and just make that a little less bold. Because with my eyes and the way they are, it can be a bit unflattering to the face if you don't soften up that bottom line, especially on me. Here we go. We're at the final stretch here, kids. Now I haven't used this green yet and I couldn't quite figure out where I wanted to put it, so I think I'm gonna put a little bit on top of the crease. So let's give all the colors some love. And I keep looking at it and it's like, I wanna dig into that because it's so 70s, like late 60s, early 70s. This green, it like looks like Scooby-Doo. I may look like a toucan by the end of this, but that's fine. You know, I don't mind that. All right, put a little bit of taco on the brow bone. All right, let's move on to our lips. Now they gave me some fun lip colors here. I think I'm gonna use this purple one, cause why not? Ooh, that is a pretty gloss. Give ourselves a faint lip line. <laughs> here we go. Whew, there we go, perfect lipstick for this kind of 60s look. Now I have to wait for this to dry so I can put the gloss on. So in the meantime, what I'm gonna do is gonna take the Tokyo color and use it as blush. I'm taking my highlight brush that still has a bit of residue on it from earlier. I'm gonna fade out my cheeks a bit so it doesn't overtake my face. <laughs> She's making a statement. My lips are dry, so we're gonna go through with our lip gloss now. Oh, it's so beautiful. More! Yes, that really brought it to a whole new level. Look at all that purple. Ooh. All right, I think I'm almost done. I kind of want to add a little more pizzazz in this blue area here. This is my first time using a loose pigment, so we're gonna see how this works. Oh, okay. That's pretty. Okay, so sugar pill just did. Absence. All right, so that one was polar, and I'm gonna use Silver Lake in the corner of the eye. All 
All right, so a lot more drag than I was expecting, but I actually really like the look. Okay, I'm gonna put some eyelashes on off camera and I'll be right back. Welcome back, this is the final result. Oh my God, I look ravishing. <laughs> I'm just like those 60s babes I've always wanted to be. Oh my goodness, it's like, hmm. The mother from A Clockwork Orange when she was young and sexy, you know? Okay, now thank you so much, Amy and Autumn and everyone over in the Sugar Pill team for sending me this summer collection. It is fabulous. And you may think, James, you may have gone a little overboard with this color scheme, but you're wrong. I did not. I used every single color that they sent me. Even this shimmer right here, that's my highlight every single color. I have to say there were some definite rock star standouts. Like always, the eyeshadows were fabulous. You can't go wrong with the Sugar Pill eyeshadow. They are pigmented, they are affordable, and they come in a fabulous variety of colors. And of course, more than anything, look at the size of these pans. My God, it's bigger than my eyes. I really loved this lip gloss. Oh my gosh, this one was Bloom. It is so pretty. I'm gonna get so many uses out of this one. And it was my first time using these, and I have to say, loose pigments are like my newest obsession now. Oh my gosh, look at that eye. I was always so scared to use them before, and now I don't really understand why, because they're so simple to use. I think when you hear loose, you'll automatically think fallout, and you're like, oh my God, it's gonna be a dust cloud over my face. I'm gonna look like, you know, I have a skin condition. All those things rush through your head, and you don't use them, or at least maybe that's just me. It's probably just me. Whatever. It's fabulous. Use them. Now this look is fabulous, but it's just missing one more thing. I can smell the hairspray in my hair, so I'm gonna go in with the James Mansfield Midwest Morning After by Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab. Just take that off and... Ah. <sighs> Now I smell just how I look. Available at blackphoenixalchemylab.com. And if you like this hair, why not get one of your very own? I sell wigs styled just like this <laughs> on my website listed down below. And if you like this video, get one of your very own. My cameo is listed down below as well. I'll say just about anything within reason. Be sure and like, comment, and subscribe. And please, please share my videos, guys. Get this algorithm working in my favor. It's true. The more we talk about me, the more popular I become. I don't know how that works, but apparently that's how it works. And like this video, please like this video. Even go so far as to take your friend's phone, go on YouTube and like it. They'll never know. It'll be our little secret. And it's like you're helping me out. And until next time, bye. Click here to see me style a four-year-old wig I found in a bag in my closet. Or watch my review of Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Come on, click it. You know you want to. If you don't click it, I'll give you Courtney Cox bangs from Scream 3. So click it.